You may be seated. Boys and girls, can we get you to turn around this way? You can sit so you can look at me. You don't need to look at them today, okay? Before I, I share a little bit about a, a story, about our gospel story, I want to show you something today. We have something new up here in the chancel. We figured you would see it. And, and David is sitting on, or standing on this. You see with this little thing here? It's a motor. And for those of you who are not aware, one of the ways that our deaf community participates with us in our worship, especially at 930, is they feel the vibration of the music. That's why they especially like the 930 service. Well, this is a special one because this board vibrates just for David so that he feels the music and can lead through the signing. And, and it's a new gift to, to, to David and to the deaf community. We we have named this David. This is called the David. <laughs> Just wanted you to know that. Wow. Uh huh. Wow. They have one of those in music class, so they know exactly what that is. You feel the base of it. See how far we are behind. See that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Today is the day we study a story in Scripture about Jesus. And Jesus is referred to by a special name. He is called the Good Shepherd. Can you say that? Good Shepherd. Now, when we hear that word, we don't often think of, of, of a shepherd because uh, how many of you know a shepherd? Anybody out there know a shepherd? Uh, there aren't too many that are tending sheep out there these days. You know a shepherd. I bet you know some farmers. But... Okay, don't go push the envelope. You were, okay. But I wanted to show you what a shepherd does because it helps us understand what Jesus meant. Often a shepherd would carry one of these. Do you know what this is called? What's it called? This is called a staff or a shepherd's, what's this look like? Hook, a hook or crook. It's called a shepherd's crook, and it's, it's a staff. And there's a, there's, a, there's a psalm that says, Thy rod and thy staff will comfort me, when it refers to the good shepherd. Now, how would a shepherd use this? Well, if a sheep happened to be hurt, or if it, it fell over a little bit of a, of a hill, if the shepherd couldn't get down to it, the shepherd would be able to reach down and be able to wrap it, this around the underarms of a sheep like that and pull it up very gently so that the shepherd could bring it back to safety and the shepherd if a sheep needed to be uh, to if a shepherd of sheep got out of line the shepherd would be able to gently remind the, sh the sheep to follow in with others and to follow him and you know what's really really special about a shepherd a shepherd would get to know every one of their sheep by name and they would call their sheep by name. How many, how many of you have an animal? Anybody have an animal at home? And do you have a name for your animal? I bet you do. And when you call the name, what happens? They what? They come. Most of the time, they come anyway. <laughs> and if you get some food and you call their name, they really will come. Well, the, sh the, the, the shepherd knew the, the names of the sheep. And the sheep knew the names of, or the, knew the voice of the shepherd. So when the shepherd spoke, the sheep got used to her, his voice and they knew. And so Jesus is the good shepherd. Now, there's one other thing that the shepherd would do. At nighttime, when this, all the sheep would come in to go to sleep, they would come in and they would, they would get in a little bit like of a corral and it was really safe and there was one way that the sheep could get out, only one way. And they didn't use a regular gate to protect the, the sheep from other animals. Guess what the shepherd did? What the shepherd did? No, didn't have an electric fence. That would have been a good idea, but didn't have an electric fence. What does the shepherd do? A gate, but it was a very special kind of gate. What kind of gate was it? That's pretty close, but let me show you the gate. The shepherd would lay down in the pathway so that if any animal tried to come in, get, they had to go over who? The shepherd. And the shepherd always kept their, their rod and their staff with them so that they could protect the sheep. So when we talk about Jesus being the good shepherd, Jesus is the one who cares for us, knows us by name, wants us to know him so well. So that's why we come here to church and to learn so that we can listen for Jesus and read about him in stories of scripture and in song. 
Uh, it's so important to know who Jesus is so we can follow him as our good shepherd. Just remember that he loves you so much and he wants to take care of you. And the Bible reminds us that one time Jesus actually laid down his life for us. We talk about that when he died on the cross. He laid down his life for us so that we could have life. And that's really, really wonderful, isn't it? That's a wonderful gift of Jesus. So let's sing a song that reminds us and gives thanks to God. It's called Praise Him, Praise Him, All You Little Children. God is love, God is love. You know that song? You got a, you got a note for me? Praise Him, praise Him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Praise Him, praise Him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Now let's do one more. Serve Him, serve Him. Serve Him, serve Him, all ye little children. God is love. God is love, serve him, serve him, all ye little children, God is love, God is love. Would you pray with me and pray after me? Thank you, good shepherd, for your love, for how much you do for us and how much you love us. Help us to follow you and to listen for your voice. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless you.